The car is lightweight, it's less than 30 kilograms of mass. The car is aerodynamically optimized, it has an aerodynamic friction coefficient of below 0.1, which is sensationally good. It has an extremely well-designed powertrain. Its uh, rolling friction is minimized by utilizing specialized tires from Michelin. Uh, and of course the core of it all is the fuel cell system, the generation for the electric energy, of the electric energy, which has been highly optimized to achieve very, very high efficiencies. Are you satisfied with the result? Very much so, of course. This was a long period. We worked for more than three years on this project. And we are very, very happy to have beaten that world record. We beat it not just by a small margin, we beat it by large. The previous one was around 4,000 kilometers. L'équipe ETH Zurich avec ce super record, le plus long, 5,385 km de Valise de We have now achieved 5,385 kilometers with the energy equivalent of one liter of gasoline. We used 1.04 grams of hydrogen to drive a distance of 20.68 kilometers. That's what we measured, that's what Shell measured on this uh, competition. This corresponds to roughly, if I'm right, around uh, five grams of hydrogen per 100 kilometers of distance. Now, you compare, when you make a comparison to gasoline, the energy content of these two fuels. So hydrogen, a kilogram of hydrogen has a certain energy content, a kilogram of gasoline has a certain energy content, and if you make the comparison, you can do these calculations and claim that with the energy contained in one liter of gasoline, you could drive with this car 5,385 kilometers. Can this fuel system ever be used by the car industry? Once we have renewable energy sources like solar energy or nuclear power energy where you have carbon dioxide free production of energy, you will be forced or you will be compelled to use hydrogen because the conversion from hydrogen to mechanical energy through a fuel cell is absolutely the best system we have today. The efficiency of that conversion is unbeatable. Do you have other projects in your laboratory? We have many projects in our laboratory concerning to, with uh, fuel consumption, pollutant emission in automobiles, in real automobiles. This year is more of an educational, uh, fun project. We have serious projects where we do research in reducing fuel consumption of real cars and in reducing pollutant emission of real cars in gasoline and diesel engines.